All right, Federal Reserve cuts interest rates to zero, launches massive $700 billion quantitative easing program. And now we know why these are, rallies are happening on Friday. You don't want to be short in front of that. We'd expect the market to open up much higher and for that to provide some uh, a bullish tone for a little while. And then if the market rolls over after that, uh, the Fed is out of bullets pretty much. I guess they can go to negative rates. Uh, provide more quantitative easing, but it goes on and on and on, and so eventually, uh, eventually, it's, it's not a good thing. Uh, reality is a good thing, but now we know why. It's, it's, our, it's our job as traders to um, trade what is instead of what should be, and want the best for the economy, want the best for those who are struggling with this coronavirus, uh, and so maybe that's a good thing in the short term, but would hopefully, hopefully, uh, hope that our country would get back to a point where uh, we don't need uh, zero interest rates and constant quantitative easing and that we can come back to some sort of normalcy. And so um, look for huge gap opening. Uh, if you were long over the weekend, that's probably going to be a good thing. Uh, I'd be shocked if it opens down. If it opens down, that's it. That would be extremely uh, bearish in my opinion. So um, I'm sh sure the shock will be to the upside when it opens, so we'll see here. It's still an hour before the features open on Sunday night. I've been buried in code all weekend, uh, working on some updates. Uh, this should reduce the VIX in the short term. This should cause uh, the markets to act more, uh, more like we're used to seeing them in the short term. Hopefully, this uh, coronavirus will die down, and we will um, we will get back to normal trading here pretty soon.